Hi everyone! Today we are in the city of Lausanne in Canton Vaux and this is a city that is really close to my heart because I actually lived here in Lausanne for almost two years so I feel like this is somewhere that I have been many times and today I want to be showing you some of my favorite spots in this city and what you can do in Lausanne so if you're interested to find out more make sure you watch till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel and let's get going! Let's talk about transport in Lausanne. The city is exceptionally well connected by train. From Geneva and Bern, the journey takes just under an hour, while from Zurich, it takes about two hours. Once you're in Lausanne, getting around is a breeze thanks to the city's efficient public transport system. Lausanne boasts Switzerland's only metro system, the Lausanne Metro. With M1 and M2, it connects key areas from the northern suburbs down to the lakeshore. The M2 line in particular is a unique experience as it is one of the steepest metro lines in the world. Before we continue with our tour of Lausanne, I want to thank our sponsor for today's video, Level 8. If you're planning a trip to Switzerland, their luggages are an absolute must-have. Level 8 is a brand known for its dedication to creating high-quality, stylish, and functional travel gear. Their product line ranges from durable luggages to sleek backpacks, all designed to meet the needs of modern travelers. For my luggage choice, I got the Luminous Textured 3 piece set in black, which comes in 20, 24, and 28 inches. The first thing that caught my eye was the classy and sleek black textured exterior of the suitcases. It comes with anti-scratch surfaces, ensuring lasting protection against wear and tear, which is really important since luggages are always thrown around. The luggages are crafted from German-made macrolon polycarbonate, which is lightweight yet incredibly robust. Inside, the organized interior features multiple compartments, zip pockets to help with organizing clothes, shoes, and accessories. The handle is adjustable in three levels and ergonomically designed, and I always strap my handbag to the handle for easy maneuvering. I brought the 20-inch cabin luggage on my recent trip to Berlin, and it was so easy to travel with. For me, the most important aspect of any luggage are the wheels, and I'm really impressed with the silent 360-degree wheels, which glide effortlessly in any direction with minimal noise. Just listen. Additionally, the carry-on size and compliant with most airline cabin restrictions, making it an excellent choice for short trips or as an additional bags for longer journey. The luggages come with TSA-approved combination locks, providing peace of mind that belongings are safe and secure. For those with multiple pieces, the luggage is stacked neatly within the larger suitcases, making storage a breeze. Finally, Level 8 offers a lifetime warranty that covers any functional damage to the shell, wheels, handles, and zippers. You can use my code OLIVIA10 for 10% off all Level 8 luggages. Now let's get back to our adventure in Lausanne. Once you're out from the train, head to the end of Platform 8 where you'll find the stairs down that leads you to the Suga area in Grancy. Our first stop is Café de Grancy, a beloved local favourite. This cosy neighbourhood cafe is perfect for breakfast or brunch and offers a delightful menu with fresh, locally sourced ingredients. Another pastry nearby is Au Meveilleux de Fred, which came originally from Paris. Known for its delicious Meveilleux, these delicate meringue-based pastries are a must-try, but my favourite has got to be their chocolate brioche. For a more laid back vibe, let's check out the Sleepy Bear Cafe. They serve amazing specialty coffee and homemade pastries that will make you feel right at home. After fueling up, we are ready to explore Lausanne's old town, the Place de la Palud. This area is rich in history and charm with its narrow cobblestone streets, picturesque squares and colourful buildings. The striking Fountain de la Justice animates the upper part of Place de la Palud. It's a typical example of the Renaissance style fountains that one can admire in other Swiss cities. The basin of this fountain dates from 1557 and the original statue of the Justice, now replaced by a copy, was made in 1585. Close by, a historic clock presents the history of Vaux in animated scenes every hour from 9 to 7 p.m. If you were to come on a Saturday, you will have the chance to explore the fun and bustling weekend market bringing in local produce from the region. While you're in the Old Town, be sure to visit La Chocolatier, a delightful local chocolate shop offering a wide variety of handcrafted Swiss chocolates, pralines and other sweet treats. One of my favourite spots for lunch is La Chandeleur, where you can try delicious French-style crepes from sweet salted caramel ones to savoury versions with cheese, eggs and tomato. So this is the Marché des Escaliers 
and it's a very old staircase way back in the 13th century and you can start walking here from the old town and it will bring you right up to the Lausanne Cathedral. What makes the Escalier du Marché so picturesque are the strikingly colourful facades of shop houses along the side. There is this cafe called Barbare, it's particularly popular amongst the locals. Once you reach the top of the stairs, don't forget to snap an Insta-worthy shot right here. Once you have climbed up the stairs, you will arrive at the magnificent Lausanne Cathedral. This 12th century Gothic cathedral is the main feature of any postcards of Lausanne and rightfully so. It is literally the highest point of the city and also the largest cathedral in the whole of Switzerland. Like many other cathedrals in Europe, the Lausanne Cathedral was stripped away of many saints, statues and decorations during the Reformation period. Even in its simplicity, the cathedral stands beautiful today with its stained glass windows, high ceilings and vaulted arches. For an extra 5 francs, you can climb up the 500-year-old staircase to the top of the bell tower for a breathtaking view of the whole of Lausanne. Otherwise, the courtyard outside the cathedral is equally great for some sunset watching. After your visit at the cathedral, take a short walk to Pont Bessier where you can catch a splendid sight of the cathedral in its entirety and the view of Lausanne's rooftops from above. It's time to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city and find a piece of nature. Hop on the bus 16 from Amitash and alight at Lac de Sauvabellin. You will find a small animal farm surrounding the lake with many cute animals. It's perfect for families with children to explore. The Lac de Sauvabellin is really a very local spot and you can come at any time of the year. I come during summer, during autumn and winter and there's always animals around and really it's a great spot for families with children because it's a nice place for them to just interact with the animals and then it's also a very chill spot with the lake to enjoy the views and then you can head to the restaurant to have a coffee or something. <laughs> Afterwards, take a shortcut cutting through the forest. Within minutes, you will find yourself looking up at a strange looking tower built purely from local wood. This is the Tour de Solabella. It's a tough climb to the top with 151 steps in total, but once you're up there, you get an amazing view of Lac Lemont, the mighty French Alps, the forest, and the city. So take it as combining fitness with sightseeing. One of my favourite Swiss restaurants is Le Chalet Suisse and it's really close by from the Sauvage Bellin Tower. It has also become my go-to place whenever I host visitors from abroad. With its traditional cabin lock interior, the chalet gives off a really cosy and homely ambiance. While you're here, make sure you tuck into the local Swiss fondue and my recommended choice would be the Moitié Moitié with half Gruyère cheese and half Vacheron Frambojois cheese. As the Olympic capital, Lausanne is home to the International Olympic Committee and the Olympic Museum. The museum is located along Lake Geneva and entrance is free with your Swiss travel pass. The Olympic Museum is split into three levels, each unraveling the history of the original Greek Olympics, its modern-day resumption and the journey undertaken through its present form. The permanent exhibition is extraordinarily rich and highly informative with a collection of all the Olympic torches dating back to the first games, memorabilia, medals, costumes and equipments worn by actual Olympic athletes. I particularly enjoyed watching the well-crafted and emotive videos of the torch lightings and the various opening ceremonies. What made the museum stood out the most was its interactive game zone where young and old alike can enjoy. At the end of the day, head to the Esplanade de Montpénon, one of Lausanne's most scenic spots offering stunning views over the lake and the distant Alps. This expansive green space is perfect for a leisurely stroll or simply relaxing while taking in the beautiful surroundings. So this park 
this Esplanade de Montbeno is really one of the favorite places I like to visit in Lausanne because it's a really chill place. You can just come here with a beer, hang out with your friends and just have a picnic here. And it's a free thing to do when you're in Lausanne and you can enjoy really good views of the French Alps and of the whole lake. So if you want to do something just a bit relaxing in Lausanne, this is the place to go. Within the park, you will find the Brasserie de Montpinot, a popular dining destination known for its sophisticated yet welcoming atmosphere. <laughs> 